Hi everyone, Adam from Audient here. This video takes an in-depth look at one of ID48's key features, the switchable analog inserts, what they're capable of, and how you can use them to easily integrate outboard gear into your setup for tracking and mixing. Firstly, let's quickly go over what inserts are. Microphones operate at a very low output level, and most outboard equipment, such as external EQs and compressors, are designed to work at line level, which is a much stronger signal. To use them both together, traditional recording studios with larger recording consoles, like the Audient ASP8024 Heritage Edition, are designed in such a way that the microphone comes into the microphone preamp, which boosts the signal up to line level. After this, before the signal goes on to be manipulated in the console, there is a break point in the circuit where we can insert any equipment that works at line level. For example, this is where you would connect your vintage compressor to capture the character straight to your recording. With ID48's balanced inserts, we are replicating the working style of large recording consoles, allowing you to record or mix with outboard equipment in that same way. The ID48 is equipped with two DB25 connectors. Each one carries eight balanced signals. The insert send connector sends out signals to your outboard equipment and the insert return brings back the resulting processed signal into your computer. The ID48 can also do more with these connectors, but we will come back to this shortly. Each one of these insert points is switchable in the ID mixer software on a per channel basis, so you can use your outboard equipment in a variety of applications. For example, tracking your mics with outboard effects when in a recording session and later being able to mix with the same outboard feeding stems out of your door without having to plug or unplug any cables. Let's start by taking a look at how you use the inserts, starting with the input section of the ID mixer. Each channel has a drop-down located here, which has three options, Mic Mode, ADC Direct Mode, and Mic Insert Mode. By default, each channel is set to Mic Mode. Mic Mode sends the Audient Microphone Preamp signal directly to the converters, bypassing the insert sends and returns, letting you record using ID48's built-in console preamps without any hardware processing. This is the mode to use when connecting a microphone or line level instrument such as a synthesizer to ID48 and not using any other equipment at the time of recording. Next up, we have mic insert mode. When recording a microphone or line level source such as a synthesizer, many recording engineers will want to use outboard equipment such as a compressor or analog EQ during the recording process and mic insert mode allows you to do this entirely in the analog realm with no added latency. To engage an insert point, click on the ADC path drop-down menu and select mic insert. This will activate a relay in the ID48 and you will hear a click sound. Now that specific channel has changed its routing, so the signal will be routed to the insert sends, into the outboard and back in via the insert returns before being sent back to ID48's analog to digital converters. For example, if I change channel 1 to mic insert mode, this is now being sent to my outboard compressor. The audio is then processed, then routed back to the corresponding analog return and into my computer, letting you record the processed audio in real time. This is perfect for committing your perfect vocal hardware setup to every take, meaning you can record as many layers as you need without taxing your computer with plug-in processing. Be aware that when outboard equipment is used in recording in this way, the process is permanently recorded into your software. There is no capture of the dry preamp signal since this process is done in a single analog chain. Next up, we have ADC Direct Mode, which can be used in two different ways. Firstly, when a channel is in ADC Direct Mode, it bypasses the internal audience microphone preamp which means you can easily integrate and record with an external preamp or signal chain and access id 48 analog to digital converters directly, giving you a super clean signal path into your computer. To do this, connect your external signal on the insert return on the DB25 connector. The DB25 connector can be either XLR or TRS jack depending on the connection points on your external equipment but the insert returns are set to accept line level signals only. Now open the ID mixer and on the selected channel, go to the insert drop-down menu and select ADC direct mode. This will disable the audience microphone preamp on that channel, 
and enable the insert return to be sent directly to ID48's analog to digital converters. Now you can record using an external mic preamp, for example, a vintage valve preamp for a retro style, easily allowing you to bring in different flavored preamps when needed. The second option is to use ADC direct mode to mix your tracks or stems using your outboard hardware, enabling you to work in a hybrid of analog and digital for the best of both worlds. As we covered earlier, when a channel's insert path is switched to ADC insert mode, the internal audience microphone preamp is disabled, but also the insert send changes to send signal as a dedicated line output from the ID mixer and from your DAW. In this way, modern DAWs have the ability to insert a hardware signal path on a channel or bus. In this way, your audio will be sent through the ID48's insert send to your outboard hardware, and when connected to the matching insert return, this signal replaces the microphone input when coming back into the DAW channel. This means you can process and mix your tracks, stems, and even your master bus using the outboard of your choice. The way each DAW processes hardware inserts can differ, so consult your DAW's manual for using ID48 channels in this way. By default, on ID48, outputs 1 to 8 are routed to the main monitors and headphones, and outputs 9 to 16 are routed to the insert sends on the DB25 connector. The outputs from the DB25 cable are then connected to the inputs on your outboard equipment. The outboard equipment's output signal is then connected to the insert return connections on the second DB25 connection. To enable this setup on ID48, there are two elements that need to be configured. In this example, we will set up outboard hardware on the first channel of the DB25 cables, using output 9 from the DAW and returning on input 1. Firstly, to route the output, open the ID Software Mixer app. To show the system panel, with the ID Mixer open, go to the View menu at the top of the page and select Show System Panel, or use the shortcut Command and 4 or Control and 4 on Windows. From here, click on the Line Outputs 9 to 16 tab in the routing section at the top of the window. The line outputs on the DB25 connector, found in the Line Outputs 9 to 16 tab, have an option for their door through mode. In door ADAPT mode, audio sent from outputs 9 to 16 inside your door will be sent directly to outputs 9 to 16 on the rear of ID48. In the routing section, each set of channels is presented as stereo pairs by default. To change a pair to two mono outputs, click the stereo tab on the left. For our desired output in this example, we are adjusting output 9, of which we will change the output routing to DAW ADAPT, and now any signal sent from your DAW through output 9 will be received by your outboard equipment. If your outboard has level meters, this signal can be confirmed as audio is sent from the DAW and the meters move to reflect incoming signals. Make sure to mute the related DAW output and channel input faders in the ID mixer to prevent feedback issues. To receive the returning signal from our outboard hardware, the matching input channel on ID48 should be set in the ID mixer to ADC through mode. At this point, your hardware insert setup in your DAW should reflect the processed audio signal. You should be able to bypass your DAW's hardware insert to confirm and compare audible changes in audio from your outboard equipment. Some DAWs, such as Pro Tools, have a requirement that when using hardware inserts, the input channel and output channel must have matching numbers. For instance, input 1 when used for hardware insert return must be matched with output 1 as the insert sent. To accommodate for this, each of the DB25 outputs can be set to DAW analog mode. In this mode, DAW outputs 1 to 8 are sent directly to the matching outputs on the insert send DB25 connection on the rear of ID48. When operating in this mode, it is important to note that by default, many DAWs use channels 1 and 2 as their master mix output. In the instance of using DAW analog mode, it may be necessary to switch your DAW's master output to another channel such as DAW 9 and 10, which can then be used in the ID mixer for master mix and cue mixes, and the faders for DAW 1 to 8 may be muted to avoid feedback through outboard hardware. In summary, the inserts are incredibly flexible and are a powerful recording and mixing feature, enabling you to incorporate analog hardware into your workflow with ease.
For more information on ID48, please make sure to watch some of our other videos or visit the ID48 page on our website. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. If you have any questions about ID48, then please leave a comment or get in touch with our support team. And don't forget to subscribe for more audience news and video content.